When you go to a restaurant in Southern California, you see those big letter grades in the window, letting you know how the restaurant ranks in terms of being clean and safe. Now a company hopes to do the same thing when it comes to air quality by partnering with a well-respected testing lab. Our investigative reporter Joel Grover shows us how companies hope this will encourage people to come back to the workplace after years of COVID. On the front door of this West LA office building is a new seal of approval from UL, the same seal you see on your toaster or blender from the legendary testing lab, which for over a hundred years has tested and verified the safety of household products. Now UL is putting its stamp of approval on air quality in buildings that pass a rigorous test, proving the ventilation and filtration systems are removing airborne viruses. I feel protected coming here every day. Tracy Childress manages that West LA building, one of the first to earn UL's air quality seal of approval. What does that seal on the door say to people coming into this building? It shows that we are keeping the building safe and that we have a ventilation system that would keep them safe. To get that air quality rating, UL is partnering with a biotech company called Safe Traces, which has used its high-tech method to test indoor air at airports and at a long list of schools and offices around the country. Safe Traces allowed the I-Team to watch as they tested the air in high-density areas of that West LA building, which is co-owned by investment bankers Goldman Sachs and Ocean West Capital, co-founded by Ted Bishak. In this ongoing pandemic, is it hard to get workers into the office? Yes, I think there's a lot of legitimate concern about safety. To test the air here, a Safe Traces technician first sprays a harmless DNA aerosol into the air. So our aerosol tracer can simulate any type of airborne uh, pathogen, whether it's COVID or the flu or the common cold. Then for an hour, this machine collects air samples to determine something called air change. That's how many times the air in a room is completely completely changed every hour through the building's ventilation and air conditioning. That's a good indication of how viruses would be filtered out of the air. And that's been the number one concern is that somebody sneezes in the other side of the office. Am I going to get sick? as a result of that. No government agency has yet set standards for air change, but the Harvard School of Public Health says there should be at least four complete air changes in a room per hour to prevent the spread of infectious viruses. The Safe Traces test showed the air in that West LA building was being completely changed at least five times an hour in the rooms that were tested, which they say means at least 99% of the aerosol particles Simulating viruses were being filtered out that earned the building the UL air quality seal of approval. How important is that UL seal of approval? UL is an industry standard. You turn over your toaster, you're going to find a UL label on it. It will become the gold standard in terms of whether or not your building is safe with respect to the recent outbreaks. Indoor air quality is such an important issue that just last week the White House held a summit on it. It is now widely recognized that clean indoor air is the key to getting workers safely back to workplaces, students safely back to schools. There are a lot of ways to improve air quality to make it safer for everyone in the workplace. Sometimes it's simple fixes like adding portable HEPA filters to rooms or more expensive upgrades of air conditioning systems like the owners of that West LA building did, which helped them get that UL seal of approval. It's a higher level standard of ventilation in the building. And just like the UL seal is now on thousands of household products, Safe Traces and UL hope the seal will eventually be on thousands of buildings that have passed those air quality tests. For the I-Team, I'm Joel Grover.